Draft time, baby. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. All right. All right, so Tampa Bay is on the clock right now. It's 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, a lot of people, they, all they're doing is talking about Jameis Winston right now. Oh, man. It's on you right now. This is, this is what I'm excited about. I can't wait. Picks in, guys, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's see who they get. Uh, and we have not heard that it's a trade. That means the Bucks just decided to say, uh, no matter what Chip Kelly might have been offering or any other team, it's going to be Jameis Winston. It, well, let's face it. They've acted that way throughout the whole process. You go back to the senior. Oh, level, no, man. The combine conversations. With the they take Leonard Williams. That changes the whole uh, the whole dynamic of the draft, guys. So it's gonna be interesting. I really think they're gonna take Jameis Winston. Everybody else thinks they're gonna take Jameis Winston. The real question is, who is Tennessee gonna take? So night. Just wanna let you know. Don't have curls light today. Got Bud Light. But let's hope I get to drink this thing and brag about us getting a receiver. If not. I'll still take a sip. <laughs> know how it is. With the first pick in the 2015 NFL Draft. Let's see what they got. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Jameis Winston, quarterback, Florida State. So after all that has been said and done and tape grinded and questions about it's time to Titans are on the clock. They got Titans exactly like five minutes. Uh, in Tennessee right they're at the five minute mark now this pick is important guys I don't know who they're going to pick if they pick Leonard Williams that changes the whole dynamic guys like I said uh, if they trade it down it's more, more than likely going to go straight to Mariota he's off the board which moves which moves Williams down to us um, if you know Jacksonville doesn't take him which that's the real question guys will Jacksonville take him I'm wondering that Man. they're letting that thing take down they're probably they're probably gonna take the pick guys they're probably gonna take the pick man it's already three three minutes to compete with Zach Metler. They are, they are nah. If Leonard Williams gets taken, that, that makes it more likely for us to trade down. Even though I want a wide receiver, I'm not stupid. They're probably going to trade down. Because uh, I don't think Jacksonville really needs a quarterback. Uh, they probably either go you know, defensive and a wide receiver. Picks, but have to think but even then, I don't even know if they want to be I'm pretty sure they don't need a quarterback. Man, the pretty good. He's not horrible. Uh, so if they get Leonard Williams, we're probably the trade bait. We're, we're, we're going to have a lot of trade power because Mariota will still be on the board. I damn near guarantee you he's, he will still be on the board. So, I'm hope. I don't know. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers made Jameis Winston the first ever Seminole taken first overall in a draft. Not even our man Deion Sanders was number one overall in his draft. Now it's time to find out who's number two overall in the 2015 draft. Will it be Marcus Mariota? Will we have two quarterbacks taken to start the 2015 draft? It's going to be Leonard Williams. I just got a feeling it's going to be Leonard Williams. With the second pick in the 2015 NFL draft, the Tennessee Titans select Marcus Mariota. Holy shit! Quarterback. And it is Marcus Mariota in Hawaii. This will be potentially... Leonard Williams is slipping. Private flight taken by any number two guys, guys, this is big. Two quarterbacks have just been taken number one and number two. Wow. Wow. Into a new system. Jacksonville just picked like that. 
They they didn't even wait on it, man. Like that. Dude. More than likely, they will take Mark. Uh, they will take Leonard Williams or Dante Fowler. So we don't got to worry about them taking one of the wide receivers. But at the same time, guys, at the same time, you got to take into uh, to account anything can fucking happen. I, I, I'm fucking shocked right now. So, if they, t if they don't take Leonard Williams, I honestly... Oh, wow. Wow. Jump on a video chat with my friend. He's a real fanboy, so I can't wait to show this off. Picture is perfect. I got mine at Verizon. I didn't. It was buffering right out of the box. He was impressed. I couldn't be happier. I couldn't see him, but I could hear him. So, Make they take Leonard Williams, Dante Fowler. We still have the two top wide receivers. Dude. Guys, the two top wide receivers are available right now. Kevin White and Amari Cooper. We're really going to find out who we want if we go wide receiver. What kind of player we want if we go wide receiver. But if Leonard Williams is still on the board, that, that that's like, wow. That, that much... I don't know what we're going to do, guys. Someone might break the bank and trade with us a shitload of pits. Shit. Dude, this is... This, this is interesting, guys. This is interesting. Plus, Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly joins us live in NFLAF tomorrow at 6 a.m. Eastern. I think they might take Dante Fowler. There's a chance. From what I've read, everything, everything points to Dante Fowler. But... Leonard Williams is a top prospect. I don't think they expected him to drop this low. I thought I think they expected him to go number two or number one overall. So, Titans. Who knows what the Titans are going to do? Uh, no, not Titans. Oh my God. Who knows what Jacksonville's going to do? Titans. We already know what they did. They got a quarterback. Shit. Have you? You by the way. We should say Oakland is on the clock. Raiders are on the clock, baby. Let's do this. Well, I don't think for five minutes. Who do you think this might be as the commissioner strolls to the podium? I think it's got to be one of three people. Dante Fowler, the preeminent edge rusher. Leonard Williams might be the best football player in this draft. Or they could go offense with Amari Cooper. Remember, they were number 32 in the leg at point score. They got to help that young quarterback. Oh, shit. I guess. Damn. With the third pick in the 2015 NFL draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Dante Fowler, Jr. Williams is there! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Whoa! We got a chance to get two with C. Two. Oh my god. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna Leonard Williams is available? I want a wide receiver! Damn it! Damn it, why do you gotta be available? You would have taken that Dude! Oh my god, dude! We're getting it we're gonna get either a good damn player or a good fucking deal. I tell you that right now. A good fucking player or a good fucking deal. That's going down right fucking now. Ah! Come on. Come on. Woo! Okay. Okay, get Williams. Get him. Get, get Williams if you have to, man. I don't care. Best player available. I'm good with that. But if you get Cooper or White, I'm good with that too. This, this this is a good fucking oh my god. Get it, get it. Alright, get the fuck off the stage, man. Get the fuck off the stage. Raiders are on the clock. He's 
He's got a freaky first step, and he also sets a physical wow. edge in the run game. And you don't usually Dude. get that. Song. Raiders are on the clock, baby. Woo! Let's do this, Raider Nation. He creates havoc. He gets in the backfield. He knocks people around. And come on, come on. He plays the game. This guy loves football. He plays with energy. He plays with excitement. He's jumping around. Guys are jumping on his head. This is a guy you'd love to bring into your building. You mentioned it. When you watch the tape, yep. you know, you go, I want to watch more. This guy is unbelievable. He's on the right side, the left side. He's standing up. Oh, my God. On the ground, and he's got a motor that won't quit. And he's an exciting guy. Gus Bradley wants a guy that's yep. going to sack the quarterback. He wants pressure with a four-man rush. And Notice how they don't mention or talk about us while, you know, we're on the fucking clock. You ever notice that shit? That's the one thing I fucking hate, dude. The, we've been on the clock for five fucking minutes. Six fucking minutes. Up to seven fucking minutes. You look at guys with heavy, heavy hands and guys that play with a phenomenal... Well, not seven minutes. I'm exaggerating, dude. They're not even talking about the Raiders. And they need somebody like this. In Jacksonville, because not only you're gonna have to chase Andrew Luck, he's gonna have to chase the guy who went one pick ahead of him in Marcus Mariota. Leonard Williams is on the clock. Amari Cooper is on the. Uh, not in the was on. Raiders are on the clock. Leonard Williams is available. Kevin White is available. Amari Cooper is available. So that means that the Raiders pick is in. Perhaps a young man who grew up a Raider fan. This could be. Where Leonard Williams goes, oh my God. this would be sort of a dream come true for him to put on the silver. This is a jump ball between Leonard Williams and the two top wide receivers in the draft. It could be Amari Cooper, it could be Kevin White. I would actually prefer they go after a wide receiver with this pick. I think Derek Carr probably was a Picks in! Right. The pick is in! Do this, baby! Woo! No trade, baby. We're taking a top fucking player right fucking now. Let's do this! in the slot. But then, like you mentioned, Leonard Williams, who grew up for some reason a Raider fan. For some reason, fuck you, Mooch. Have a guy like that. Well, presented by Ram Trucks, it is the first close of the prime time moment. Prime, take it away. How are you doing? Are you excited about the moment, man? I'm excited. I'm wow. Excited. I'm Man, yeah, fun. go to another player. Don't even talk about the Raiders. They talked about us for literally 10 fucking seconds. 10 seconds. That's how much they give a shit about the Raiders. A Florida boy going to Jacksonville, Florida. What are your expectations? All right. They know who I am. You know, Florida know who I am. Gator Nation, you know what I'm saying? Everybody say, Pete, I'm doing this for St. Pete. I'm doing this for my city. I'm doing it for the Gators. I'm doing it for everybody. When you come blinging like that with the ensemble and the shoes, please get the shoes. You Don't must, you must perform. What the fuck is this fool wearing? You wearing slippers? Look like ballerina shoes. Fucking Dante Fowler don't know shit about style, man. That, that, that's, well, maybe he knows style. I don't fucking know, guys. That looks funny as shit, dudes. What the fuck is that? They look like ballerina shoes, man. The Washington Redskins. We haven't seen them. All right, guys. they drafted RG3 in this round, and they have five minutes left in which to make that pick. And then the team that usually creates the biggest buzz at a draft hall in our days of broadcasting a draft, the New York Jets are on the clock, followed by the Chicago Bears. Yeah, talk about every other team but the Raiders. The Raiders just made a pick, but y'all ain't talking about who we're going to pick, are you? The Raiders pick is in. Who do you think the Washington Redskins might be looking at as they've got four minutes of change left, Mike? They're sitting there praying that Oakland takes a wide out and Leonard Williams falls to them. If Washington can walk out on the fifth pick of the draft and maybe get the best football player, They'd be high five in the Redskin Park. And the fact that maybe that they are taking this long because they know who the Raiders pick is, maybe that means that this is Len Williams that's about to be announced here in the draft hall. So it's time for the commissioner to come out. We went uh, Winston, Mariota, and Fowler. Now it's time to find out who the latest member of uh, the Silver and Black now coached by Jack Del Rio. This is the first pick of the Del Rio era. Guys, let's do this. Come on. In the 2015 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select Amari Cooper. Whoa! Yeah! Ha! Wide receiver, bitch! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Finally! Oh! Oh, sorry, Leonard Williams, man. Much love. Amari Cooper. Much love, bro. Oh, finally. Oh, yo, Knight. 
This one's for you, bro. So he's a great fit, and boy, is Doug Farr going to love him. Mm. You can't wait. Derek Carr has been mature mm. beyond his years, taking that ah. over last year, and, and <laughs> he's going to be a franchise quarterback. Mari Cooper, baby. You got a Mari Cooper. Best wide receiver in the fucking draft. We just got him. You got the, a young emerging quarterback and probably the best route runner in the in the draft. Also, those guys are going to be super well together. We're going to take a break here from Chicago. What we come Sorry, Leonard. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. In my opinion, guys, this is uh, initial reaction. I'm like, happy as fuck, but I'm also just a little. Wow. I'm in shock. I I really thought we I thought we would go Leonard Williams if he's available. I didn't I didn't. Wow. They got what I wanted. They finally got. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I've always done whatever it takes to get to the next level. Guys, this player is a playmaker. He's a damn good route runner. Solid fucking hands. Fast as fuck. Guys, we got a damn good player right now. No one, all right. I did not see this coming, guys. I did not see this coming at all. Wow. Place. All right, guys. I was born there. Taken as Much love, guys. You know what? I'm a. I'm a call it. A, I'm a chill. Uh, checking with you if anything else pops up during the draft. Can't wait till tomorrow, guys. Much love. Go Raiders. <laughs>